Boris Johnson up early, making the case for stopping climate change to members of the House and Senate in Washington. But last night he was at dinner with the Australian Prime Minister and today he was, in his own way, asking the French to calm down about the new security pact between Australia, the UK and the US. It's time for some of our dearest friends around the world to, you know, prone and grip uh, about all this uh, and donne moi un break. Uh, because this is uh, fundamentally a, a, a great step forward for global security. He was at the White House yesterday, a relatively low-key arrival at the door of the famous West Wing. But Boris Johnson already has reason to feel pleased about his dealings with the president. Boris Johnson's already got a big win out of the White House on this visit with that multi-billion dollar American contribution to the Climate Change Fund. But what about the UK-US trade deal, which we've heard so much about for so many years? Well, that's going nowhere for now, as even the Prime Minister admits the President has bigger fish to fry. It seemed pretty relaxed when Boris Johnson met Vice President Harris, but another issue looms in the background. Prime Minister is threatening to walk away from the deal with the EU that keeps the Irish border open, but put some checks between Northern Ireland and the rest of the UK. So when he met Joe Biden in the Oval Office, there was a gentle warning from the president. We spent an enormous amount of time and effort in the United States. It was a, a major bipartisan effort made. And uh, I, uh, I would not at all like to see, nor I might add, would many of my Republican colleagues like to see a change in the uh, Irish courts. But for seasoned watchers of the US-UK relationship, any row can be seen like one that happens inside a family. Families are always going to have squabbles. Families are always going to have differences. Families are always going to have fights but they're always going to find a way to come back together as family. And that is what we're going to see play out. The so-called special relationship has been recycled through many politicians. We're just at the start of finding out what the Biden-Johnson version will look like. Boris Johnson now heads from Washington to New York on the train because tonight he addresses the United Nations General Assembly and in his speech he'll compare the human race to a teenager who's just got the keys to the car and worked out how to unlock the drinks cabinet and he will say we have to grow up and realize the potential fatal damage we're doing to ourselves. He'll ask for more money for his fund to help developing countries make their economies greener and they'll be looking for more promises on cutting greenhouse gas emissions. This is a vital stepping stone to the COP26 summit in Glasgow due to happen in just 50 days time and the success of that summit is vital for Boris Johnson and he would argue vital for the planet itself.